Welcome to a new video. I think everyone knows the news that a hacker leaked some footage from GTA 6 online. We did not copied any of that footage, because it's a crime to hack and leak, and even he is trying to blackmail Rockstar to leak more footage. We really hope this hacker gets caught, and Rockstar can fully concentrate on making GTA 6 online. What this footage confirmed is the location of this new version of GTA Online. Several maps are going around for a year now. But now we know for sure, the location of the new map in GTA 6 Online is going to be the state of Florida in the United States. This is the full map, and we are going to show you on which real-life locations this is based. There are some very good comparisons we are showing you in detail, so keep watching. Let's compare this with the map of Los Santos first, so we get an idea of the size. We looked at the airports and the highways to keep them at the same size, and then we get the conclusion that the size is nearly the same. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments. So let's take a closer look at this new map of the state of Florida. This is the real-life map of Florida, and Rockstar mainly focuses on the south, and especially on the city of Miami. So after the GTA version of Vice City, which came out in 2002, the city of Miami is back. Let's show you the big details, and then the smaller ones is zoomed in on both maps. You clearly see this islands connected with Route 1 to Key West. You can also see this on the map of GTA 6. Route 75 and 41, which are going to the city of Naples, you can see them here in the GTA map. Lake Okeechobee, which is over here, is called Lake Mayaka in GTA. Fort Myers and Cape Coral on the real-life map is over here on the map Rockstar made and is called Blue Fish Point. A bit above you see the GTA area of Whitewater. This is called Clearwater for real. Do you see all the little lakes over here? This is based on the area between Lake Land and Orlando. A very cool detail about this area I tell you later when I show you the small details when I zoom in on the map. Here you see the islands from Cape Canaveral to Stewart. This is connected with the road A1A. We think this must be the road with islands over here. About this area we don't have an idea yet. It should be between Stewart and Miami Beach, but we don't see any comparisons. It might be this island, because of the shape. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Now let's take a closer look on the map of GTA 6 and I show you some very cool details. This is Miami City. You clearly see the island with Miami Beach and Key Biscayne in the south. The Miami International Airport looks also the same as Rockstar made on the map of GTA 6. Look at the direction of the runway. I think they did a great job. On the south you have the Florida Keys, which is an area as a big swamp. In GTA 6 this is called the Swamplands. Let's take a look at this location. It's called, Ave Maria, Florida. When we zoom in on this location we see there is the big Catholic parish church.
Rockstar called this place, Maze Haven. We are wondering if the church is going to be there in the game. That would be very cool. Also in very nice detail is this part on the west called Polo Island. When we looked on the real life on what this is based about, we noticed Marco Island. Rockstar thinks they are funny. Marco Island is called Polo Island on GTA 6. So we have Marco Polo. Do you get it? Also the roads are similar. Look at Route 41, which connected the island with these two roads. You also see this on the GTA map. Let's take a look at Disney World near the city of Orlando. This is located over here. And on the map of GTA 6 they called it Quincy World. We think this is a very nice detail. We are wondering, how many airports are there on this map? We have the Miami International Airport, and we can't imagine this is the only one. There are three suspicious locations which can be runways. Did you notice them? The first one is here in a place called Rosalind. This could be two runways for small airplanes. Very close to Rosalind we see this location. We don't know on which real-life location this is based, but it looks like this is a runway. A bit to the south we see this shape of roads in this area. This also can be two runways with the taxi connections between. It can be just streets with houses around, but they made it a bit more fat than the roads which are near. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. This are all the details we know about the new map of GTA 6 Online. We think this is going to be very awesome. We can't wait and hope Rockstar is going to be finished as planned. If this video is helpful for you, you can help me back by subscribing my channel and leave a like. Please leave a comment, we appreciate that a lot. If you want to support us more, be an Excite member and press on the join button. I hope to see you in the next video.